In this video, I'm going to solve a fairly tricky looking example of an equation. So this one, 1 quarter to the x is equal to 8 to the x plus 1. We need to work out what x is. And I'm just going to use the indice techniques that we've learned um, in order to solve it. Okay. So the first thing that I might want to do here is a case of replacing all of the numbers with a number to the something, if you see what I mean. So I know that, for example, that 4 and 8 are both powers of 2. 4 is 2 squared and 8 is 2 cubed. So that would probably be my first step. So I'm going to replace the 4 with 2 squared and replace the 8 with 2 to the 3. Okay? Now, let's see what that gets me. Because now I'm able to write, well, I've got 1 over 2 squared, so that's 2 to the minus 2, still to the power of x. And here I have an x plus 1 on the outside of the bracket and a cubed inside, so I can multiply those indices together. So this is 2 to the 3x plus 3. Now this little trick, I can do exactly the same here. So I've got 2 to the minus 2x, minus 2 times x, is equal to 2 to the 3x plus 3. So the right hand side stays the same. So now I've got 2 to the something is 2 to the something else. Those powers, those indices, must be the same in order for equality to hold. And so, that means that the minus 2x must be the same as the 3x plus 3. So, if you add 2x to both sides and take 3 from both sides, taking 3 from both sides means I'm going to get a minus 3 on the left-hand side and a 5x on the right-hand side when I add 2x to both sides. Then divide through by 5... So x is minus 3 fifths, okay? So that is my answer to the original problem. And you can check it by plugging it into a calculator and seeing what you get. So in order to solve this problem, I looked for a number that connected the 4 and 8, so that I had 2 squared and 2 cubed. And when I put those in, I replaced the 4 and the 8 with those, then I can go through using my index laws in order to get down to a linear equation with one solution. 